Welcome everyone. Today we'll have a video to help you find more golden 5-star artifacts. In this video, we'll look at the 6 fastest ways to get 5-star artifacts. I have ranked those by adventure level requirement, risen cost, and also additional requirements. After that, we'll also touch up on the helpful guides that is available with no risen cost artifact farm, artifact tier list, and you know the typos with artifact, in-game artifact stats, how to get some of the tricks with artifact enhancement, creating our own artifact filter, I know this one's pretty useful, and lastly, artifact starter guide. Now I'm sure most of us know how to get artifacts after adventure level 40 with the artifact dungeon. It costs 20 risen in the game, and I have been able to get one or two artifacts this way. As you can see in this replay video, we're currently fighting the level 80 artifact dungeon for 5 star artifacts. I'm only level 70 with my characters, and this dungeon is quite difficult. So although you can get that, notice my Kachin just died, the dungeon is quite difficult right away when you first deal with it, but the reward is okay if you get lucky enough for the 5 star artifact. Over here you can see me actually getting lucky on this particular trial to get one of the veterinarian set for the arrow feather. But to be honest guys, after 10 or 20 tries of those, I have only realized the rate is less than 1 in 6. So rate is about 18 or 15% to get a golden artifact at adventure level 40. So this might not be the best method. And it's quite consuming with reason as well, which I'm really short on leveling and a lot of gears when I first got to adventure level 40. Notice how low my team got as well. It's quite difficult too. Now did you guys know we can also find 5 star artifacts from the world elite boss? Let me show you guys the example over here. You can see over here I'm fighting one of the electro hydrosis just for my materials for catching and as I was getting you know high levels I need more materials. And as we break down the boss's final defense what you're gonna see is you're gonna see a loot box. Usually we're here only for the particular upgrade material. But have a look what we found over here. So I had to use my favorite reason because I wanted to power up fast enough in the early stages of my weak phases. Notice we found a golden artifact from the Electro Boss. And this did cost us 40 reason, but finding that golden artifact was pretty nice. Over here you can see the stats of the artifact I found. This is one of the Elemental Masteries with HP percentage and a few of the okay stats. I might consider using this if I have HP percent scaled character. So yes guys, we can find artifacts from the what bosses, like over here. So this does not seem as difficult as the first method with the dungeon initially, but keep in mind it does cost 40 reason, and the rate of artifacts dropping from those bosses for 5 stars is probably less than or close to 18 or 15 percent. Now if you haven't subscribed, this is a really good time to do so. Make sure you also turn the bell on for the latest news as I find more of them for us. You can see that we're really dedicated for Genshin Impact. We'll have builds, guides, tips, news, and events updates for everything that's Genshin Impact related. Next up, we can also find 5 star artifacts from the Storm Terror and Wolf Weekly boss. Notice that the adventure level requirement is down to adventure level 30, but the reason requirement is 60 per run, and you can only do this once a week, so you can't repeat this a lot. And also the rate for adventure level 30 is quite low, it's only at adventure level 35 when I start to see frequently of the artifacts, and at adventure level 40 I start to see at least one 5 star artifacts each fight. If we come over to my live stream video over here, you can see we're playing with Klee and this is an adventure level 40 storm terror job. We found 3 golden items, one of them is the upgrade material, 2 of them are the golden artifacts. So they can drop more than 1 or 2 with a boss fight with high adventure level. The difficulty of the weekly boss is depending on understanding of the boss and also how well your characters deal with them. Do you have a ranged character? Do you know the mechanics? We do have guides for Storm Terror and the Wolf boss on the YouTube videos. I'll have those in the description below if you guys do run into troubles with the higher level bosses with harder mechanics. Next up, we can collect one golden artifact from each of the Spire Abuse floors from 6 and onwards. You can see over here if we come to the Spire Abuse floors and what we're going to see is you can click on the reward descriptions, so reward preview. You can see that we start to get the golden boxes for the tier 5 artifacts or the golden artifacts at floor 6 and those boxes do drop every floor with floor 6, with floor 7 and with all of the floors. Now those golden artifacts also drop up to floor 9, 
10 and 11 and 12 and those can be repeatable so if you are strong enough with spiral abuse you can start to repeat and get artifacts this way from the abuse of flaws every two weeks so those to reset from flow 9 I'm still on my way of making the spiral abuse guys very soon we'll go for floor higher floors and we'll have those ready for you guys as a rough estimation of the difficulty of the floors, it is recommended for adventure level 25 or 30 with well equipped characters to do the Spiral Abyss floor level 6 and this goes higher as you get into higher floors. We can also obtain multiple artifacts from the investigation from 8 and onwards. This does require us to be adventure level 35 and plus to have a weapon which is level 7. Let me show you guys what I mean by that in game. So if you come over here, you can see this book over here. This is the investigation. With investigation 8, you can see we can get one artifact for completing everything. We can also get one artifact for having four star artifacts to level 16 with eight of those. So those are quite nice. But in order to unlock chapter 8, you have to do chapter 7. In order to unlock that, the biggest, I guess the biggest blocker was that you need to get a weapon to level 70. To do so, you have to be adventure level 30 and plus. Someone can't treat as a weapon, unfortunately. So, because of that, this is only unlocked at adventure level 35 and plus. This is one of the easiest ways to get one or two artifacts, but the downside, guys, is you have to be 35. Now, what if you want a golden artifact as early as you can? I have saved the best to last. We can do a side quest to collect all of the Geo Oculus at Adventure Level 20. As early as Adventure Level 20, you can finish the quest and you can go for the golden artifacts and five golden five star food items as well. So let's have a look at what this side quest is about. The title of the side quest is the Nine Pillars of Peace. What we're going to do is, each time we worship with the statue of the Geo statue, it's going to give us one of those stone of remem remembrances. So with those stones, each stones we get for leveling the statue up once. We we'll have to max level the statue to 10 times to unlock all the pillars. As we come into the replay over here, the Nine Pillars are located in the Chuchu Slopes. So we're going to teleport over there. And as we run towards the slopes over here, what you're going to see is you're going to see a lot of pillars. Now, some of those pillars have been activated. This one has not been activated. Notice the ones that's been activated is because I already inserted my stone of remembrance in. I'm still missing three of those, but I've gotten those in this replay. So we're going to come to the statues and we're going to try to insert the stone each time we have one. Now, you can do this before you get all of the stones because each time you insert it, they do give you a chest as well. So as we come to the top of the statue, you can see that we can insert the stone in. It plays a small animation, it cracks open the statue and pushes you off. And also it gives you a free chest at the bottom of the statue. You can see over here we're getting a chest each time we unlock the statues. This does not have to be completed at once. We can complete each of the pillars each time we get the statues to one higher level up. Now, after completing all nine of the statues by collecting all of the Geo Oculus that is available and getting your statue to level 10, you can open this door. Now, before we go into this special dungeon for the 5 star artifact, let's talk about how can we get all of the Geo Oculus. This might seem very difficult at the start. I do recommend you guys coming over to the interactive map and logging in with a dummy, dummy Gmail. So once you have logged in with a dummy Gmail, what you can do is you can click on those oculars and click as found. As you find more of them across the map, what you're going to see is you're going to see less of them available and you're going to see there is a few remaining. So you can go and track all of the oculars as you find across the ring harbor. Now there is a downside guys. What if you didn't have tracking at the start and you don't know which one you found, which one you haven't. So what I did was I spent two days looking around for all the places which I haven't been. So I reset the whole map. I turned everything into not found and I went to check every location. It did take me two days and eventually I found all of, of the Oculus. But there is another way. Over here with one of the previous videos I posted, we talk about the patch 1.1 Oculus Compass. Those will tell you where the remaining Oculus are across the map. You can see there's the Anima Oculus, there's the Geo Oculus. And over here we showed how and what material is needed to craft the Oculus for Animo. 
Similarly, we can also craft geo oculus with similar ingredients. So I haven't confirmed what ingredients they are. I'm still looking for those. So if you craft those compass when patch 1.1 comes within less than 10 days, you don't have to do what I did to go for everywhere for the oculus for two days and hunt everything. You can just use the compass and find the remaining geo oculus which has been hiding from us. Now that we know the hard way of getting the geo oculus is to spend you know days looking around and also the easy way is to wait for the new patch let's have a look what's inside of this particular dungeon and how do we get the five star artifacts what you're going to see is you're going to see three types of guardians at the middle of the dungeon the first guardian is a ruin guardian and this ruin golem is level 52. that is why i recommend you guys to be level adventure level 25 and above to come over here because your characters will be slightly higher leveled you'll be under leveled and you'll be taking too much damage if your adventure level is only 20. you can still do the dungeon but it's much more challenging with adventure level 20 and under level characters after defeating the first boss what you're going to see is you're going to see two of the sonics those spinner sonics are not too difficult but keep in mind there is a special mechanics that buffs monsters as you fight longer you can and go destroy those mechanics or you can try to power down the monsters i tried to power down the monsters on the second stage it wasn't too bad until it got harder after killing the two sonics what you're going to see is you're going to see a level 57 ruin hunter and I still reluctantly didn't go and destroy those buffing ruin mechanics so I tried to deal with the boss by myself and that turned extremely bad so what I do recommend you guys is go and kill the things that's buffing this monster before you try to fight the monster because if you force and try to fight the monster his damage is going to increase tremendously as time goes on if you have high enough damage yeah try to burst him down if you don't and if you want to play little safe go and destroy the mechanics that is buffing him because he's getting really strong. Look how hard he hits. Look, he's going red, right? So this is when the enemy is like fully buffed. So he did about 15-20% to my gene in one attack. And my level is higher too. So let's see. The second swipe did about 30% of my venting damage. And he was hitting really, really hard. I was having so much trouble. Notice he one shot on my venting now. His damage keeps going up if you don't play the mechanics. After defeating all three bosses, what you're going to see is you're going to see two chests and one special item over here. And as you open those chests, you'll be collecting your special quest reward too. Paimon is pretty happy for looting those treasure. So not only do you get the five star artifact from those chests, you'll also be getting a special quest item. The quest item allows us to sell the doll ring over here for a special NPC. There's two NPC to choose from. Let's go into a detail for this one as well. So this is the five star artifact. This is my first artifact as well. After collecting that special doll ring quest item, we can come back to the ring harbor. You can talk to two different NPCs, Bawa or Lin Lan. So if you talk to Lin Lan, she will offer 200,000 Mora. If you talk to Bala, which is the dodgy merchant, we, this is what he looks like. He's the dodgy guy underneath the harbor. He will offer you 180k Mora and a special add-on. He doesn't tell you what the add-on is, but turns out guys, the add-on is extremely good. So always goes to Bala. So if you go with Bala, what you're going to see is you're going to see Adapt Temptation. This is a 5 star food item that gives you the best attack stats in the game. To make this item, it's estimated to cost about 20,000 Mora and a lot of time to collect everything and wait for the processed food. So 20,000 Mora difference, but you get 5 of the golden items. I'll show you in my inventory. I only have 7 so far, I think. So if you come into my inventory, oh, I only have 5 from the from the quest I made for after. Those are the, you know, the maximum level made. Those are the ones he gave to us. He does have a small attack difference simply because he did not make them into perfection. I got shelling and made them into perfection over here. And those are the six ways we can get artifacts. You can see I've ranked them by reason cost. And after that, we can see the different adventure level required. The lowest adventure level will be the side quest with adventure level 20 plus, but the monsters are extremely difficult and it might take some time for you to get all of the oculus. Followed by that, the best way to get them will be the spiral floor on level 6 and you can consider going for the weekly bosses if you get lucky. I do not recommend us going for artifacts too early guys, I recommend saving a fragile reason for a little bit, I'm still saving about 20 fragile reasons to wait for adventure level 45 to go for those, because the rates do go up much faster. And as always, as you get to adventure level 35, you can grab the easiest two artifacts from the investigation. Now on the topic of artifacts, I really want to show you guys what are the resource and the guide materials that's available on YouTube channel. 
So we can start with Artifact Starter Guide. If you don't know what Artifact is about and what the details are with Artifacts, start with the Starter Guide. After the Starter Guide, depending on your needs, you can go for the No Reason Artifact Farming Experience, you can go for the Artifact Tier List, and also we have the typo about the Arctic Patcher. So if you had a look at the Arctic Patcher Artifact over here, what it says is it gives you 35 resistance to all the party members for the element, for the crystallized element. But it actually gives you 35 elemental bonus for all party members for the particular element. So if you want more details, do come over to this video for the massive typo that makes that artifact so much more powerful with the new geo characters. And finally, we'll also talk about how to create your own artifact filter and what are the tricks to get artifact enhancement to get more two times and five times. It is more like a Getra myth, but this have been told you know, by some of the viewers, it seems to work. So I'll let you guys know and let me know what you think about it. As for the art artifact filter, what you'll be seeing is, so sometimes we want to use the purple artifacts and we want to use them for materials to enhance. We want to use them for XP. Now, in order to do so, we can't tell which one's which. We need to find the one with the bad stats. Over here with the artifact way smart trick is that we leveled the artifact to level one. And then we used it because it categorized them differently if you level the ones you want to use to level one. To summarize this video, I've been collecting a lot of footages, a lot of ways to get artifacts since I started the game, and I want to share all of that with you guys with different reason calls and different adventure level requirement. We also had a look at the guides that is available for different artifact parts, and also guys, keep in mind, it is likely going to have new artifact sets and new artifact item in the next coming update. So if those do come into about, I'll find the news, I'll show it to you guys, we'll have a look into it, and prepare ourselves for the artifacts. Now, if you found this video helpful, make sure you subscribe and also turn the little bell on for the latest news. I'll be looking towards to make more builds, guides, tips, and news and event updates for us as we come further into the game. And as always, I wish you guys the best of luck with Catherine and have the most fun in exploring this wonderful world.